to do a video and this is on a purse and I would say this will be my last purse video for a while unless it's just like a what's in my purse or something but not for a new purchase I sold quite a few of my handbags that I had so I would be able to get my very first Louis Vuitton I ordered this one straight off the website and I got it yesterday and I have been looking and planning which bag I wanted for quite a while. It came with this really nice little dust bag and the little card and the receipt. That's my return label, but why in the world would I do that? The receipt and this is the Pochette Matisse. And I think I'm saying that right. I've watched several videos on it. And this is the bag. You just, I'm sure everybody knows, it just snaps and then you can squeeze them to open it. But I kind of want to go over the outside of the bag. This is the back. This is where I plan to carry my phone. It has a little touch of leather there. The top handle that has the little embossing and then it's here it has the three sections which this one's the biggest and then you just I have my Patricia Nash little poofy because I thought it was really pretty with the brown monogram and so you squeeze it and it opens really easy and this is the inside it holds more than I thought it would but I wanted a nice medium sized bag I wanted to be able to wear it crossbody or wear it on my shoulder I didn't want a huge one but I mean the bigger you go of course the more the bag costs but I thought that this style was just perfect for me I looked at the nanos and I even called about them but they said that my iPhone 6 Plus would probably not fit. If it did, you'd have to squeeze it in and there wouldn't be much room for anything else. So I decided after watching several videos on this bag that I wanted this one. I'm so glad I got this one. It's so pretty. I've already had it out and I've already went somewhere with it. And this is how the inside looks. I have a flat date book back here and a mirror. Then this section is the biggest. So I have this little bag I'm using as a wallet. I have this little pink pouch with my glasses in it. And then I have this little orange pouch with earbuds. And that's a hand sanitizer. I have a nail file in there. Then this front section, I have tissues and I have my little makeup pouch. So see, it really opens like an accordion. It's really nice. And I mean, I could put more in here, but I don't want to be super stuffed. Like I don't want to be out to here because I still want to be able to fasten it easy and I don't want it to be super heavy. So I'd save the time I'll put my phone in there. I have everything I need, everything I would carry. And I'm just so happy and excited that I was able to get this bag. And I would say over the years, I had so many purses. So if you take into account every bag I've had since I was little, I've been married for 20 years next month. So you take all the purses I've had and purchased, the Michael Kors, I mean, they're not cheap either. All those bags add up. I have given away so many bags to my families. I remember even giving garbage bags of purses away. I have gave them to my friends that I worked with, my daughters. I mean, we dumped our purses out and it was clearly over a hundred with all three of us having our purses in there. And they were the bags that mainly I had purchased. Yes, not all of them were name brands like big ones. Some of them say Fossil. Uh, but still some of the Fossils are over a hundred. So, I mean, I worked at Macy's for nine and a half years. I got a discount, but I still paid a good deal of money for all my bags that I've had. So, with that being said, in the long run, purchasing this bag, which I, I mean, I don't even feel like I want to buy anymore. I just want to use this one. I've wanted one for so long. And I feel like getting this one, I want to save money in the long run. I know that these bags are pricey, 
but I was just buying so many of the other brands that I could have had one of these years ago. And I just decided I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get one, I'm glad I did. And I'm so happy for all the people that's had reviews. It really helped me. I love how it has all these metal um, eyelet type, I guess you call it that, to adjust it with. And I wanted a bag that I figured could be casual. So if I go to a ball game or to a parade, if I decide to take it, then I've got it. I really don't have to worry about this one other than maybe the handle. I have to remember not to have like um, lotion on my hands because I know that's gonna patina anyway, but I don't want to have splotches. So I was super happy to get this. And if you're like me and you're spending lots of money on a bag, but you've always wanted one of these, you might as well just do it. <laughs> Cause I feel like once again, this is gonna be saving me money in the long run. <laughs> But I love this bag, it's super cute. I don't know any more details to tell you because there's so many reviews online, but the inside has a really soft, it's not leather, I don't think. I don't even know what it is, but it's super soft. Maybe like a moleskin type material. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris in the back. So yes, I really, really like it. I love it. Thanks for watching. Bye.